Today we're here to celebrate Steamboat completing their $220 million upgrade. And the final piece of that was the Wild Blue Gondola, which gets you like way back to the back of Steamboat, which is actually kind of sick. And we're going to test it out. I haven't rode this gondola yet, so I'm super excited to get up there, get to the back and see if we can find any, anything good today at Steamboat. So, uh, enough talking. Good job, Steamboat. Let's do this. Now we haven't gotten any snow here in Colorado this season. But on a powder day, I believe this gondola is the gondola to get on. It's going to get you to all the good powder terrain. Mm -hmm. yes. Don't be like that. Come on. It's big and it's blue, just like Michael. Oh. <laughs> we got the ski dog with us today. You know it's going to be a good day. Look at these seats. They're like race car seats. All right, that was a fast moving gondola. Still a long ride. You travel though far distance, but we are at the top of Steamboat, and it's, it's a gorgeous day. I'll take film on this one, you guys know more. Dude, we haven't rode trees in a minute. <laughs> Nice to get into some trees. So that's again the coolest part about that whole new chairlift or gondola and the whole new revamp of Steamboat Mountain. So it's now easier to get back to this terrain. Like one lift, you're back here. But they were also able to make a whole new like learning area for beginners. It's just the, the amount of learner terrain that Simo just added is super impressive and really excited for this resort. Huge upgrade, definitely needed. We're gonna go hike up to the gullies real quick and uh, check out, see if we could find something steep, gnarly, and fun. Every time Michael comes and hangs out, we make him walk. He loves us. This is like the smallest walk. Now we're not walking this to try and find powder. <laughs> doing it just to piss me off. Just to make Michael mad. <laughs> yeah, we, we're just trying to uh, find something gnarly to get into. All right, we think we know what we want to ride. And it's this way. We want to dip into here. It's looking very close. Look like they're gonna keep the shoots closed on us the whole day. So there's these like really gnarly rocks shoots here. But they closed. I probably call that's about to scrape away the snow. This looks kind of neat. It's like a big icy water slide, Michael, like Corbett's. Get it, Doc! Oh, he scared the crap out of me. Good job, guys. Nice, Cody. <laughs> That's my little zone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, that was fun. It's just kind of nice to get into the trees a bit. Over near Keystone, we haven't had enough snow in the trees to ride them. We are, somehow I took the wrong turn. Uh, I kind of had to walk our way out of that mess. Whoa. But that was fun. Oh, wow, that is surface horse. I've actually never seen it. No, this is this is definitely surf, surface horse. If snow falls on this, it creates a horrible layer like, for avalanche. That's crazy. Andy, you would be freaking out, man. He did it in one, not three, dog. Yeah, well, my snow is harder. Yeah, don't look that scary. Oh. I'm freaking out, man. Avalanche stuff. Now, before Cody rudely interrupted me with avalanche knowledge stuff, I wanted to mention today, sticker shout out. We got Patty Lee with the uh, Galaxy sticker on the helmet, looking insane. Guys, are going to Evolution Snicker. We have so many colors and styles and versions for anybody style out there, even if your style is being a skier. We do have a ski version of all of our merchandise. Snagging the merch is huge, supports the dreams. If you guys do snag any of it, the t-shirts, hoodies, long sleeves, any of that stuff, just tag me on Instagram. I'll give you guys gear and sticker shout outs in the vlogs like I just did. All right, this was neat. I think we should make our way over to the train park, see what that they got going on here. We're just exploring yeah, Steamboat today. Yeah, sit in that line again and then get stuck in this again. We got to drop some rocks though, that was, that was neat. Got to find some sur sur surface war. You hear about this stuff in books. Ski Dog's like, why can't we ever just snowboard? <laughs> I don't know what you were doing out there. 
<laughs> Dude, no, I, my face hit a tree so hard. Like, I, I didn't see it at all. I can imagine for it to get in your helmet. <laughs> uh, let's not moving before the mooses get us. Oh, I hit a tree. I also forgot my goggles today, by the guy. Hey, guys, that's why I hopped the cool sunnies. <laughs> you okay? Oh, they hit my lid so hard. You okay, Doc? I put my hand up to block it, but then it smacked oh. just one little tip of the branch. There really is like a cat track that's like pretty clear that you get on. We are lost in Steamboat. Yeah, I have no idea where we are. But there's a ton of tracks, so that that helps. If other people have been here, there we go. Life! All I know is we go left. Alright! We found runs. We weren't that lost. Just annoying. Sorry, Mike. Filling these aspens. Yeah, I'm good. Dude, the fear in your face when oh, you dude. Like, were sliding towards the trees but couldn't stop. I, I like slide and I look up and see the trees oh. and thought about like Nabel's horror stories. Oh. Oh, okay. Water in the trees. They look big, bumpy, and icy. There we go. Ah. <laughs> Those are wild. This place is icy today. Yeah. Uh, okay. So the two hundred and twenty million dollars, quarter of a billion dollars almost, that seemed to put into the gondola really is into the whole project at the base area, creating the new like bunny hill areas, all that type of stuff. And I will say, I think it was totally worth it for Steamboat. This resort is becoming one of my favorite ones. Got a lot of rat terrain here, but the village and stuff. I came here last year with the kiddos, and they had so much fun, and my wife enjoyed it a ton. So Steamboat's doing some right stuff. It's nice to see ski resorts improving, opposed to like tearing down their parks and just not. I don't know. Yeah. I'm more time out of Baylor's voice, but enough talking. We got to uh, go find the train park. So we're passing the old gondola right now. And once again, a part of that major $220 million renovation is the bottom half of this gondola. They moved it a little more forward so they could put the ice skating rink in and stuff. They did a lot. It, it's crazy. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh god. Alright, here's the train park. Decided to see what they got. Normally their jumps are pretty slow, so. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like it a lot. 
love it is double or nothing. You ain't getting money, then you bugging. Them fat, you know I'm a hugging. Oh. Close by the truck. I had the park sake, we can get a couple laps in there. Them I'm a bucket. OD, you know I does it. If it ain't moolah, we cannot discuss it. Alright, this lower park is notorious for being slow. So we'll take anything we can get. New chain bussin', pick the medallion, pull your own troubles out by the gallon. Her name ain't Lotta, but she from the south. Her name ain't Ruby, she got a big mouth. She puttin' it dead, she's thinking it doubt. Puttin' it dead, she's thinking it doubt. She like so one in the This half pipe is made for children. If you ain't leechin', what can you open? Think about it, they just be talkin'. Think about it, they just be talkin'. They just tell you what you wanna hear. Yeah, put you in a nice pair. Best if you don't listen. All this your pony, I'm making her wet. Cause I'm a lion, you know we the sex. Why he upset? Diamonds on me, I'm gonna get the gas. Falling so hard, and I ain't even rap. If you ain't no time, then you can't let me. Live in the past, and got no regrets. I should have loved it, still gotta respect it. I came out of nowhere. I was like, oh, it's no more beer, I should go this way. And I just like. If it's your last, you should've just kept it Eyes on me, as soon as I step in the eye on me You know what I'm rapping is eyes so Yeah, you know we dressing, our blessings is coming They know that we destined I get a love and they know how we do You see that's the budget So I'm just gonna get my chin Suck in my hands and I'm gonna get you Tell me don't touch me You're bringing them vibes, you know we don't force it Tell them I'm rushing So she's like, oh, I guess I love it So you ain't holding my money It's like it a love and it's not You know you ain't getting money I said the bar was sick, we did some laughs in there And it's a little on the slow side And like, we had a good time in the park. It's one of those things, I haven't had the park day that I've been wanting this season so far. Mainly because Keystone hasn't made a good park yet at all. Breck also hasn't because Vail Resort just hates their train parks for some reason. And then Copper is like the only good park, but it's just super crowded and super icy. So like it's, it's a weird vibe trying to like do big tricks, but you can't trust that all the people on the knuckles and stuff. Like it's just a mess. And then the other thing that's been happening this season is like a lot of the jumps, like this, maybe I got a wax, but like the speed is just not like there for jumps. Maybe I got a wax. I don't know. I haven't waxed in a minute. That could be it. I need a wax. Dude, we we need a wax, Ski Dog. We got that. <laughs> but uh, this one's Chipmunk, guys. Let's have a good, fast jump line. That's the goal for this run. Here we go. Michael needs a wax and a wipe. By the way, guys, Michael is single. He deleted all <laughs> of his apps. He needs some wax. <laughs> Micro park session, rip around the mountain day. We still got that lower park. Maybe we can get a trick, but that spot's icy. If you run into ice, just get off your edges and go flat base. A little side hit 360. I used the torsional twist in my board to land that and not keep rotating. I stopped my rotation by using torsional twist. <laughs> oh, give me this camera. I'm a big liar, we couldn't hit this bottom park, which I'm not mad about, because we got the park ski in, ski out today. Got a fancy little parking pass. We got the park in the the highlight of Steamboat, which is super nice. And um, but with that, T-Mock guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing what the gondola provided to Steamboat and all the upgrades and stuff that they did. And with that being said, thank you so much for shredding with us today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow in another video. It's Dana on the channel. We do stuff like this. You ride a powder right here and go down into it. You want to ride some paddle quick? Yeah. Let's get it. Damn it.